ShireSociety.com. All right, I'm staying here with Ross from Don't Tread on Meme. Dot com and uh, I've been wanting to photograph this for so long. This is your silver vending machine. Yeah. Uh, and it, 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 is this the first time you guys have set it up to sell things or? Oh yeah, uh, I'm, I'm putting in the prices right now. You, you've never set it up before to sell things? No, we have uh, oh, okay. around Phoenix at, at the Ron Paul uh, um, after the primary speech. Oh, okay. Uh, and a few other, uh, Libertopia, no, not, not there, uh, Freedom Law School. So this is like your third deployment? Or? Third. Okay, yep. great. Um, and the idea in a sentence is, what are you trying to do? Uh, we're trying to create street theater to raise uh, awareness for the practi practicality of junk silver and the accessibility of it as a barter tool. Mm -hmm. um, and it sort of evolved into uh, a parody of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Because it's uh, oh it is yeah it is. And, yeah we call it the money lift instead of the monolith because obviously it's it's the shape and the color but also it's uh, it's a signal a sign of peaceful evolution right uh, so so if you're willing tell me a little bit about how much you've sold through the device in the in the two deployments that you've already done um, you know I, at the Freedom Law School event uh, it was um, actually people didn't know what it was. And it was behind the t the booth. Uh, I didn't go, but it was Drew and Ernie, and uh, it was more of what what's that? Oh, it's the silver dime card vending machine, and then they had them all on the table anyway. Um, so, but but here, this is a totally different event. That was more like it was all lawyers, and it was all you know conservative, whatever. Like you know, it's a different event. Here, people get it. It's it's and people are more willing to go up and press buttons. Right. So. We, we, this is this is when what, we, what we've been waiting for when we first conceived this about a year ago. Do you think that uh, I mean, what what kind of grief do you think you might get over the next year or two from authorities over this? Is you're providing a sort of an alternate currency? Amazingly, um, that's what's the beautiful thing about the, the dimes, the junk di junk silver dimes or pre sixty five dimes is that um, worst case scenario we can report every transaction as 10 cents instead of the melt value at 235 right now. But, I, and then the cards trade, I mean, this is an experiment in Austrian economics also. We don't wanna be central planners. We don't wanna set the price. And we love what Liberty Dollar did and some other organizations like that. They stamped, but they stamped a number on the coin and it always confused me and I think it confused a lot of other people. And it, it gave just more um, tools for the, for the man to, um, to uh, come down on them, like you're, you're creating alternative currency. So we don't say we're creating alternative currency. We're just creating a convenient packaging for something that's already existing. Yeah. Um, do you have any sense of, uh, or any plans to maybe make more vending machines or? No, um, there's other people who want to do it and we'll sell a machine. I'd like to, you know, we, we, we bought a good machine and just as a, as a warning out there, don't go on Craigslist for a vending machine because it's a, it's a round robin of people getting rid of machines that there's no parts for. Uh -oh. there's, there's very few companies that are still in existence that make the machines. Kind of, you know, uh, chalk that up to inflation. How, you know, inflation has destroyed a lot of old vending machines because you need to keep, uh. keep programming. We, we, we sweet talked the guy to give us a one and five dollar bill chart, uh, changer that accepts the new fives. So you can, if you're in the vending machine business, you have, probably have a particular um, distaste for the US Mint. <laughs> Huh. But um, no, so if you want to do this, um, just be careful and get a good machine. Um, but I don't think we'll be doing another machine. Um, we're going to keep carrying this around, obviously, to uh, uh, thank our sponsors. If uh, You'll get a cut of those probably at the end of the video for supporting us in this project. The ones um, that were displayed on the on side the of left the and right. machine, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and so we'll be taking it around at least uh, throughout this political cycle of 2012. Um, but other than that, it's really easy um, to, we'll probably just uh, resell the machine or something. Um, we, we would have wanted something smaller. Of course, this thing's 300 pounds. Do you have a thought as to where you might take it next after Porcupine Fest? No, we don't. Um, we would have loved to take it to Tampa, of course, for the Ron Paul um, alternative GOP event uh, convention, but we just won't. You won't be there? Uh, we're taking up to others. Uh, we're trying to do, or almost, and some other people are trying to do a Pork West, uh, Scorpio Pine. Oh, Freedom you're Pork Festival. Westers. Yeah, um, that's Jackalope Freedom Festival. Uh, I'm not really part of that, but I'll help. But um, Free State Wyoming, basically, right? No, it's or... not Wyoming. It's uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. 
uh, which is great because it's within a day's drive of LA, San Francisco. Las so it's Vegas, the fifth Phoenix. free state west project. It's, yeah. Oh, guys, you never, you're never never gonna do it if he's doing five different I things. Know. Yeah. So we'll t we'll be taking it there. Um, but uh, oh, you're just taking it to it. You're not starting one. No, well, almost it's almost festival. Uh, you know. <laughs> oh, right, oh, okay. <laughs> but um, so no, uh, uh, just a few more appearances. Oh, okay. Um, but it's more for street theater, and obviously yeah. uh, as a platform for our sponsors to, okay. to to it really just shows people. Are you guys serious? You yeah. guys seriously did that? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. We did that. <laughs> right. Um, Which well, just it's good to see these rumbles of different replacements ready to go for the day that the Federal Reserve note goes. Yeah. So that there's not too much, maybe not as much chaos. Yeah. Uh, and maybe it only takes weeks to get things fixed uh, instead of months. You know? Right. So. It's it's really just an educational tool. The silver dime cards, um, like we like we said, we we like the Austrian School of Economics. We don't we don't want to be central planners. We don't want to set the price. We don't uh, we don't want to put a face value on them. We want to observe what they trade in the marketplace, mm -hmm. and we observe that they trade much more than just the silver value. I talked to Peter Schiff. He came to Phoenix, and he's he's like he's like, what do these trade for? I'm like about four bucks right now, and he's like, but there's only two fifty of here in silver. I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, it's. It's in the eye of eye of the beholder what they're, what they're what they're worth. Well, I mean that's because, why that's why my ads are so cheap. No one wants to buy me. Yeah, and, <laughs> and there's it's more than just the dime. It's it's the packaging. Yeah. It's the uh, advertisement um, potential of them. It's it's also we give you the free app for the silver dime card. Um, yeah. It's called Silver Calculator for Droid or iPhone, and uh, we're it's over got has over ten thousand downloads now, and it's in uh, multilingual. And we're adding different countries' coins. We added Bitcoin. Uh, so it's more than just the dime, you know. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. Ross, thanks yeah, for your time and for your service. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my my service. Uh, check back later, you know, for people actually using it. All right. Thanks, Dave. See you out there. Yeah. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.